types programmable scientific calculator and and non programmable scientific calculator Here are some non-programming scientific calculators. Generally, non-scientific calculators are most preferred by some of the exams. Here is the list of some of the non-programmable scientific calculators. Are I am using KSQ 991 ES Plus, which is one of the good. Um, scientific calculator which you can be available which can be available ma in market one of the question arises always why scientific calculator are needed and this is the one of the most important question why why there is a use of scientific calculator for 11th and 12th students where there is a no permission for calculators in iit jee or nor in ne but there are some exams like nsc js nsc nsc a and nsc c these are some science olympiads which permit scientific calculator in their exams so you must be know how to use this scientific calculator two basic things you must know before solving any problem on miracle what are these two things the one thing is unit conversion you must be very careful while converting the units you must be aware with standard units si units you must convert cgs units fps units in si units you have to take care of this while solving any problem the second is operator rule in this you have already studied about the board mass where b for bracket o for off and d for division m for multiplication e for addition and s for subtraction okay let's start to use some basic functions of calculator okay um, let's start with the first question find the value here we having two equations 5 plus 4 divided by 2 minus 2, and the second equation is 3 by 2 divided by 2 by 9 plus 6 minus 5 into 16. Now we are solving the first equation on cal calculator. Here type the some letters. You have what you have to do. Here I mention 5. This means this is tab 5. This means this is tab 5. If I'm uh, placing plus, then it means this is the tab plus. Okay. Now what we have to do? We have to sequentially follow these steps and solve this equation. Let's start. We first have to on this. This is already on. Now five plus four divided by Two minus three equals to four. What is the value? What we getting? Answer is four. Okay. Now we are going for the next question. So how you have to clear this? Just click on all clear. The everything will be gone. Now let's start with. Uh, 
in the second equation on calculator you have to tap this word then 3 then downward then 2 then this side divided by this side 2 and plus then 6 minus 5 multiply by 16 then equals to the given value minus 269 by 4 that's all right okay now what you have to do you have to click on all three now basically another form of question that can um, come in an exam is to find the value of expression what you have to do what you have is two equations in a single question two linear equations with the two variables x and y are two variables here what you have to do on calculator please go to the mode then you will find fifth as equation so tab 5 equation now you have uh, some sequence of equation what you have to do the equation which is having the two variables okay the first equation having the two variables so what i am doing the first one now what you have to do is just select the first coefficient of x here the coefficient of x is 2 here is the coefficient of x y is 3 but there is a problem with 15 what is what is the problem with 15 15 is in the right hand side of the equal to what you have to do you have to bring it in the left hand side i did it in the second equation see here here 12 is a coefficient of x minus 2 is coefficient of y whereas the plus 3 is in the left side okay now it is c2 let's put the values now fill the values a a1 what is the value of a1 then is 2 2 equals to c equals to it will come inside and it will become 15 15 equals to now next 12 equals to here what we have to do we have to put a sign with it with an integer now what is the integer 2 so what is the will be and what will be the integer now will be is minus 2 minus 2 then plus 3 so we don't need to mention plus over here okay now tab on equals to what you will get 39 by 40 so the what's the value of x 39 by 40 but we didn't get we don't only want value of x we want the value of y also so what i will do i will click on this what i will get the value of y also okay now moving to the third problem okay before moving to the third problem i have simply for you i can't then i can't move from this space directly what i have to do i have to clear the memory or i have to move to the normal mode so to go to the mo normal mode from this equation mode this is not the simple task so what you have to do first click on the shift then click on the 9 click on 1 then equals to complete all clear now you are back to the normal mode now we have to now what we are doing we have to third equation you are all aware with the third equation to find the value of quadratic equation how you have to do you have an equation x square plus 2x minus 3y equals to 0 
so we are solving it on calculator let's start click on the mode where you will find five on uh, five equation equation now we what we have to do we have to click on see now what we have we have to put the values inside it or integer values okay and what these are integer values these are the coefficient of x square x and the constant value you have to put the constant value or even the integer if there is any negative sign you have to put the value with the negative sign okay here if there is a no integer mentioned against the variable then what you have to put you have to put one in place of it so we don't have anything so what we assumed one one now the second value is two without the value is minus three okay now what do you have to do we have to click on equals to so what we get the x1 equals to x2 equals to one x2 equals to minus three so our answer are one and minus three okay okay we are knowing now going to move over the third kind of problem which is one of the most important kind of problem that you may see which is hardly typical to solve while using the pen and copy so you can use the calculator and in a just simple manner now let's find the find the value of x where a x is equals to x plus 1 by x is equals to 1 minus x by 3 so how we have to solve on calculator the same problem occurs here now we have to go to okay. what we have to do click on alpha then bracket x bracket then plus for a second you will get the answer because it is taking some calculation time so you, you will soon get the answer let's see if there is an, an error in our question then it will show not correct or sometimes not correct can't solve something there is a there might be some problem with it so if you can easily uh, your equation is easy or it can be soluble then it can solve this okay you don't need to worry in your question it will not show can't solve okay. thank you for watching video for more videos just log on to youtube our youtube channel white color we will be very soon updated with new videos